Tiny Tim, and of course, the king himself, are just a couple of names you might recognize that have donned a ukulele. But in an era of new technologies, the instrument's popularity seemed to slowly disappear. In the 60s, probably would be the time where one I would identify a bit of a downturn because that was kind of the, in the 50s and 60s, kind of the advent of the electric guitar. You know, so that was a, a time when people uh, got distracted by other kind of instruments. Where have all flowers gone? Long time passing. Cue the 90s, a time when artists looked to find a new groove. It was then the ukulele started to make its way back into the picture. After that time, I would say uh, it, it seemed like, you know, in the 90s, it had another sort of rebirth and in interest. Lots of folks uh, in more in the roots kind of industry, music part of the industry, I think were looking at other ways of introducing different sounds to their, to their music. A sound that is known to soothe and relax its audience. I have a, a clinical music background as well. And uh, what we know about music, of course, is that it's vibrations. And the vibrations um, it has a, a definite ability depending on the frequency of the sound, you know, whether it's high frequency, low frequency, uh, loud, soft, whatever. It has, a, it has an ability to really impact the way people feel. And uh, in the business of clinical music, harp is, is perhaps the first choice and classical guitar the second. And we could say by looking at an ukulele, it's almost a subset of a classical guitar. It's nylon strings and it just has four instead of six. So, you know, if classical guitar has the, the ability to relax a person, then certainly uh, an ukulele would as well. And of course, it might help that the sound of the ukulele may trigger memories of a warmer climate and stress-free environment. I'm sure if, you know, anyone who's been to a, to a beach, to a, you know, to a place where they've heard this kind of music, uh, you're going to have a, you know, some kind of a connection. And that's, that's the other great thing about about music, again, in, in the clinical music business, you can work with people with Alzheimer's and they, the music is so connected to memories that uh, some phenomenal things can happen. You know, if you play music for, for somebody with dementia and it's from their era, you know, from when they were 16, 18, 19, 20 years old, they, they are able to, to rekindle some of the memories. So it seems like it's coded in some way. So if you're feeling strung out, don't fret, sit back and listen to the sound of the ukulele. For Ghost Central, I'm Kyle Plansky.